Katie and Seamus, I know that tonight has felt like a long time coming sometimes. If ever there were two peas in a pod, you two are it. You're both smart, dedicated, and loyal, and in the context of a marriage, that is a great foundation. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Katie, feels like a dream that today I get to marry my best friend and soulmate for a second time. You're the most amazing, kind, beautiful, driven, and intelligent woman I've ever met. And each day I feel myself fall more in love with the woman of my dreams. After nearly 13 years from when we first met, I can't thank you enough for every special moment we've shared and all the adventures we've been on. One lifetime with you will never be enough, but I promise to give you my whole heart and earning your love every day. Katie, you make me feel like the luckiest man in the world, and I couldn't be happier to marry you today. I love you. Dan gave me a great list of questions to pose to Katie and Seamus so I could get a better understanding of their relationship. I asked, what is the first word that pops into your head when you think about him or her? Katie said, kind, and Seamus said, home. Seamus, one fateful day in 2018, you shared that you'd always had feelings for me. I freaked out and called my parents, starting the call with, who have I always said I would drop everything for if they came knocking? And with very little hesitation, my dad piped up, <laughs> Shortly after your confession, you shared a lengthy speech about how we could make it work, despite distance, army challenges, etc., and I thought we could check in on the progress we've made. Not only have we made it work, but between the two of us, we've experienced five moves, one cancer diagnosis and treatment, one college graduation, one broken foot, <laughs> three promotions, one deployment with another coming soon, and many other milestones. I eagerly await the day we get our first dog and name it Chef Boyardee. <laughs> but more than anything, I'm so excited to watch you become a dad. With your kind heart, sense of wonder, and selflessness, I know you'll be an incredible father. So, to conclude, you wrote me a letter on October 4th, 2018, three days before our first date, that read, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but I think we'd go really well together. <laughs> and Seamus Nelson Hurley, I agree. It's now time for Katie and Seamus to exchange rings as symbols of their love and commitment. I give you this ring. As a sign of my devotion. I will always love you. Cherish you. And honor the vows spoken here today. You have willingly and lovingly bound your lives together. You have promised to love and cherish each other forever. Therefore, I pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you Catherine and Seamus Hurley. A kiss is now appropriate and encouraged. <laughs> Let me say right up front, Seamus, when you marry someone, you don't just marry them, you join their family. And joining our family means you're, you're also now David's brother-in-law. That's no small thing. It is my honor and privilege to present to you Catherine and Seamus Hurley. There are good friends 
and then there are good friends. Seamus is the latter. A leader, a fighter, a maiden's dream, Seamus is the most loyal friend anyone could possibly ask for. From my perspective, Katie has always understood this quality about Seamus and brings it out of him. It wasn't until the first time I saw Katie in a group setting uh, that I understood how Katie and Seamus build upon each other. She has this ability to bring others into a shared moment. It's like uh, Seamus' presence in the moment, but amplified to friends and family around her. It's really special. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to raise your glass. May their paths always be straight and clear, and may their lives be filled with wonder and joy. To Katie and Seamus.